So speaking of hits, I mean, we we definitely heard that that new T Pain record you got Appreciate that it. was on Shape Four Five. Yeah. Like, tell us how that record came about. That record came about um last summer. My a friend of mine, my man, um, Rod Anthony. Um, he's a good friend of mine. We do a lot of business together, and he got a lot of connections in the music business. He always helped. He always it has helped me out in, in in my in my ventures and um he run, he runs um nappy boy entertainment for t-pain and um t-pain came out with that um up down record and i seen it i'm always a person I always pay attention to like well what's about to go on what's doing this and what's doing that because you you know t pain took a little bit of a hiatus and you know what I mean? I, 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 I actually interviewed Payne and he talked about it. He said he had to take a chill pill and just focus on his family. You know what I mean? And um, then all of a sudden he came with that up down record. So uh, me trying to be, you know, just be on top of shit. I called my man Rod. I was like, yo, because he was telling me, he's like, yo, Payne got to do record. Payne about to do his thing. I'm telling you. I said, and when he talked, I listened. So I called him. I was like, yo. I was like, um, I was like, yo, introduce me to Payne straight up. You know what I mean? I was like, introduce me to Pain real quick. He's like, all right. Nick, a week later, the nigga was like, come on. Let's go to um, Pain Crib. I said, bet. So I went to Pain Crib, met Pain Manager, shout out my man Terrence, and met Pain. And um, uh, I just, they was, they, I seen they had some music. Pain played me his album. The album was amazing. That's one of the most talented individuals I have ever been around. And um, they was like, uh, you know, we about to put this music out, um, and you know, you, you know, you got you know a heavy influence on the game, and um, can you help us break some of the music? I said, hell yeah, whatever y'all need, let's go. You know what I mean? Like, it's nothing to it, and um, I just built the relationship. Like, you know what I mean? I respected them, and they respected me, and I just built the relationship with Payne and his manager, and just was you know, real. Uh, it it just turned into something organic, and then it was like, well. What can we do for you? Cause you support us so much. I said, really, you know, I'm thinking about working on this album. Cause around that time, it's like a year ago. Around that time, I was like, you know what? I think I'm about to, um, I think I'm about to put together an album. I've been doing mixtapes. I'm really into like my genre of music. You know, I do rhythm streets. Like you know, drama got the whole thing where we break a lot of he, um, a lot of artists. You know, work the Jeezys, the Tis of the world. And I was like, you know what? Let me let me focus on the Trey songs and the August Alcinas of the world. Like on the R&B tip, you know what I mean? Like, I still fuck with hip-hop, I know how to do it. Um, but let's try to make it a wide range of things. So that's why I created the Rhythm Streets thing. And uh, I said, you know what, I think I'm gonna start doing some music. And um, I was like, I need a record. They was like, we got you. Just straight like that. And um, so I was like, all right, let me get the work. So I started calling all these producers, you know what I mean? And um, I had this one beat. And this is some real shit. I brought it to Payne Studio and was like, what you think? He was like, hmm, it's okay. I said, you know what? Because I told him, I said, keep it real with me. If this shit ain't what it is, he was like, don't worry about that. I'm going to keep it real with you. I said, bet. So he was like, eh, it's all right. I said, okay. You know what I mean? I didn't want to waste no time because I know Payne is a hit maker. Let me go get the right beat. <laughs> I know he going to make a hit. You know what I mean? So I called my man Spins and... um you know, Spins done made, he done made all them future hits. Um, he got the the, 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 the cash out record, she twerking. He got the, um, he did the Honest. He did the, um, I mean, I could go on and on. I can't even think about so many records my man Spins did. Shout out to Hood Rich, my man Screen Spins. Those are my brothers. I said, Spins, I need one of them records. And um, he sent me like a little pack. He, I said, I'm about to do this shit with T-Pain. He sent me that pack. I went through them records. And there was one in there. I was like, yo, this is it. So the next day I sent that shit to Payne and his manager, Terrence. And um, like I knew it was something because oh, the, like that next, that was like a Wednesday or Thursday, like that next Tuesday or Wednesday, like a week. It took about a week. They was like, check your email. Usually when you work on artists, when you DJ, ain't nobody gonna tell you check the email. You gonna have to put in a little bit of work to get the record done. They said check your email, and Payne had that hook already on there. I was like, bet. You know what I mean? So I just it just really went through the whole. Once the, once I had that, I was like, man, this shit is smash. I gotta go with this record. And I just was trying to figure out who should I put on there. Should I go with the some veterans or should I go with the new hot niggas? And 
I've been fucking with my man K Camp from the beginning. I'm fucking with his campaign. You know what I mean? Shout out my man TJ. Shout out my man JR. Shout out my man J Shep. Um, and K Camp always been a, just a good dude to me. And um, I was like, you know what? Let me fuck. Like he fresh off the um, this one. Cause that bitch off was just popping. I said, you know what? Let me holler at my man K Camp. I said, yo, I got this record, man. I'm out. I want to put you on it. I sent that nigga that beat. I said, man, this shit a fucking hit. That nigga sent me that shit the next day. Sent me that shit the next day. I was like, damn. He's like, yo, you got a hit on your hands. I said, bet. You know what I mean? So when you hit, when you got people that's doing their thing and they telling you, yo, you got a hit on your hands to give you some comedy, like bet. So then I was talking to my man Paris. Shout out my man Paris, artist first. He do. He handles um, all the radio stuff for the Migos. You know what I mean? Shout out QC, my man P too. You know what I mean? My man Jarrell, the whole Migos movement, you know what I'm saying? Um, Offset, Quavo, Takeoff, shout out to y'all, you know what I mean? And um, he was like, yo, fuck with the, you got k Cap on there, fuck with these, fuck with the Migos, man. Put them on there, put all new niggas on there, make that shit hot on some new Atlanta shit. I sent this shit to them, and they blessed that shit, you know what I mean? And I had the record back, you know what I mean? I just got the record back last week, so as soon as I got it back, I said, fuck it, I'm gonna just go ahead and do what I gotta do. And... This is all about that work, straight up. You got with the hottest shit. You can't get anyone else. On my hip hop.